All right, guys. Okay, today I'm going to react to this video. The Great Raid: Forty Filipino guerrillas versus a thousand Japanese soldiers. What the hell? What a surprising title, isn't it? So how that possible? You know, there were many Great Raid in the history that I know, such as you know, attack of. Transmitting by Hannibal, aerial attack of Thailand by the Great Britain, you know, attack of Pearl Harbor by the Imperial Japan, but Philippines doesn't ring the bell. I mean, they didn't have enough resource or power to do that at that time. So, how that possible? How did, how did make such a great win? So yeah, let's see. If you enjoy the content, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you're new here. So, let's get into it. The Great Raid is a true story about the raid in the, the island of Luzon, Philippines during World War II. Oh, this is about World War II, isn't it? I didn't learn this history. Forty Philippine guerrillas under the command of Captain Pajota. Captain Pajota. Captain Pajota. Who is that? Massacre of a thousand charging Japanese soldiers, Filipino guerrillas alongside American soldiers successfully rescued American prisoners of war. Wow! So, only by themselves, without any help from Americas? Wow, this is unbelievable. So, setting up the ambush. Oh, yes. Well, this is normal strategy, isn't it? So far, nothing's... Yeah, that'll work, but nothing special so far. Pajota established a blocking force along Cabo River Bridge. Cabo River. The Filipino time bomb. The guerrillas rigged the bridge with demolitions to prevent enemy vehicles from ah, I see, crossing and entering the camp. This is a good strategy. Yeah, that'll work, that'll work. Yeah. This setup is really important for the, you know, battle. Oh, take it out. You can hear some Japanese. The area of fake out. Oh, I see. It's Captain Pajota's ideas of bringing an American plane distract the camp guards from the approaching American rangers. I see. Uh, distracting their attention. So, yeah, this is popular strategy for a raid. Oh, is that America's P 47? Setting the timer. The demolition expert sets the bomb to explode at 4 7.45 p.m. Oh. So this is a time bomber, right? Time bomb, right? Yeah, I guess bridge is the, the exit from that place. So yeah, they are going to make surprise attack. And then, you know, when Japanese escape into the exit, uh, eliminating Japanese. Machine gun deployment, I see. I guess bridge is the only the road that uh, where you can go through from that place. So yeah, in my guess is you know they are going to make a surprise attack and when Japanese escape into the road, eliminating Japanese at once by machine guns. Yeah, I, yeah, that'll work. I know. I usually use this strategy. Uh, you know, in COD, you know, Call of Duty. Yeah. You know, pointing the uh, targeting the place where people gathering by light machine gun that'll really work actually. You guys do COD, that's really fun. So you can you can enjoy. It. So yeah, if you never play, yeah, I recommend you to play. The Filipino timer. Actually, it was the American who were late for the party. Oh, oh, what do you mean exactly? So, meaning someone being late make it happen? So, well, so far I don't really get it. Someone's husband late? 
the big moment, the guerrilla fire on the with the bazooka on. Yeah, this is what I expected. That the surprise attack, right? Yeah, the start of this pain. The big moment. Wow, I like this sound. It's really exciting, you know? Wow! prepared a lot but with only 40 soldiers it's really hard to you know attack thousand soldiers right wow incredible ah! oh. Crazy, mate. I think this is mistake. Japanese mistake. I, I think the Japanese commander was just inefficient. Yeah, that is just a waste of, you know, uh, soldiers. What a sack strategy. Why did they do that? With thousands, you know. You have to do this. You shouldn't, should, you shouldn't have do that. What's going on? The flunking jabs. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. That's the way it is. Kaboto's men are holding so far, but the Japanese are trying to flank him about 100 yards down the river. Shoot some jabs before the war is over. So this attack in advance works worked well. The river shoot out and join the Philippine America. Oh, I see. More soldiers were coming in this good timing. So, yeah, some luck. Shooting while hiding, right? Yeah, nice. The red star, cold star. Oh. Then they win. The Filipino pull out. Well done, guys. Yeah. Literally, this is a good raid, yeah. Well, as it says, this is great raid. Yeah, I admit it. But, you know, um, they nailed it. because Not only because of their strategy, not only their, because of their strategy, but also, you know, Japanese army's mistake and uh, some luck for guerrillas. So, you know, many factors related. Of course, without any of their strategy or, you know, uh, preparation, this is a maker, but I, I don't think this is so special raid. I mean, I don't get why Japanese make, you know, that Banzai attack, you know, when they make that kind of attack, uh, they think they are losing, you know, remember the, you know, uh, in the mid battle midway, uh, we uh, made a banzai attack for American army because we are losing, the Japanese were losing and just losing is not for our country, just a waste of my, our life, right? So uh, they decided to do suicidal attack to Americans for patronage, you know, 
then in this way they feel like you know they are rewarded. So that's the way of、uh, you know imperial Japanese thinking. But at that time they must realize that you know the number of people, number of soldiers in imperial Japanese at that time was much bigger than you know the guerrillas. So I I don't really get why they did that. What so. Is that because they just didn't realize how much bigger the guerrilla were or was, or you know,、uh, they are just you know really surprised that you know they didn't make the you know reasonable decision or not? Yeah, this is mystery. But anyway,、uh, this you know, forty、uh, guerrillas beating a thousand Japanese soldiers is fantastic story. But I think no Japanese knows about this history. We didn't learn about it、uh, in our school at all. So, what about guys? Did you learn about it in your school?、Uh, this story isn't really famous because you know Japan, the Imperial Japan,、uh, finally beat the American,、uh, you know,、uh, in this war of Philippines. So yeah, this raid was great, but didn't really work. Uh, for the winning in the end, so that's why. But as a as a behind history, this is interesting. Yeah, it's good to know that you know there were some、uh, you know idiot Japanese.、Uh, you know, people say、uh, you know Japanese strategy was really good. They were wise, but <laughs> this Banzai attack is really nonsense. Don't you guys think so? So yeah, that's it for today. Thank you for watching my video. Hope you like it. If you do, make sure to like button and subscribe, please. So, mata ose.